Las diferentes razas de la Tierra Media llegan a un conflicto descomunal en Los Anillos de Poder, la nueva serie que acaba de estrenar Prime Video. Hemos podido hablar con los actores de la serie para que nos cuenten algunas anécdotas y detalles muy interesantes de la gran obra inspirada en la creación de Tolkien. I think what's really fun is that, the, you know, the show is set in a really unique time, a sort of untold time, um, and um, I think for me, I, I sort of began with the first age stuff rather than the third age stuff, mm. because he's just not sort of got there yet, you know, um, he's much younger, so it was fun to sort of try and build this world, build Khazad Doom, build um, Middle Earth in a way that felt uh, really different and much younger. Mm -hmm. That was really fun. Mm. Yeah. Go on, go on, go on, go on, no, go on, no, go on, no, 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 you go on. I think we, we kind of got a medley of um, being able to refer mainly to the books and the, and the text that we had from Tolkien on the dwarfs, you know, there's there's so much beautiful stuff about their culture, um, and then but actually there's not mu there's not a great deal on the female dwarfs and there's not a massive amount on Durin the fourth if I'm right, so no. we then get to sprinkle that with our own kind of creative license that Tolkien gives us, you know, um, Rob says it so brilliantly so I'm going to take it, but <laughs> Tolkien often invites you to start creating from little trinkets that he gives you. He, he asks you to use your imagination and so I feel like we managed to kind of play with both, both the kind of infrastructure that we had in front of us along mm. with our own kind of and minds and ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the costumes helped Im immeasurably yes. in the creation yeah. of That's oh it. my goodness yeah you know the various different creatures and stuff I mean <laughs> Kate Hawley who the genius. designed our costumes is the genius. and Jane O'Kane who did the face yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been, for me as an actor, I like to kind of disassociate from sort of external, and also because they're not canon characters, mm. um, I liked to experience what Poppy was going through, my character, yeah. as an actor at the same time, so I kind of liked to do what was on the page in front of me, and then sort of build it from the ground up, and then kind of, yeah, <laughs> literally like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it, it's it's in the books that we are at a certain place at a certain point at the end where we go kind of along that journey. I think there's freedom there for um, JD and Patrick to can to to just explore it. I think so. No is the answer, but yes, <laughs> if that makes sense. Well, I think for these two lovely people, they kind <laughs> of know sort of the end game of their character and. Since I'm a new character, I it's season to season, baby. <laughs> so I, <laughs> not necessarily. I mean, what's interesting with this show is for some of us, we might sort of know where we ultimately end up or where the story ultimately takes us, but we don't necessarily know how we're going to get there. So that's, that's a nice thing. It's going to be great for the audience as well, because even if you really know some of the the stories in, in Tolkien's world. You might know the stories, but there's still some surprise. So I think that's a nice thing to have something that's familiar, but it's also going to feel very different because you don't know uh, what some of these characters are, are necessarily going to end up doing or what, what their story will ultimately be. And like when you introduce a new character like this and that changes all the dynamics. So, you, so that, that puts in a brand new element which will change trajectories, I think. I think, yeah, I think for now it's just kind of focusing on um, <clears throat> on season one and kind of enjoying enjoying being able to share it with the world and hopefully people respond to it in some way or resonate with you know with the stories and the characters and um, and then who knows? Who knows? We shall see. Yeah. <laughs> I just really loved working with with 
everyone I got to work with and these two, you know, like mm. the, the um, you know, we, we, we got to do some really great stuff. And I, I remember one scene in particular where Soph's doing a lament um, and I just got to experience Soph's singing ability. <laughs> 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 my head off <laughs> I've, I've never read anything like it and so like it, I think the great thing about this job is that everybody's so talented but they're like really talented in, in you know people bring things to the table it's a world that and the show that can invite you invite things like that mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a really great thing all things are possible so it's really enjoyable from that I, look, I, I just feel very, very lucky and kind of like I've won because this is a bit of a trio. It's a bit of a thing throughout the series and off camera as well. And, um, um, you know, there are many different, it's a roller coaster ride. And actually, um, these guys have been very, very close and continue to be very close friends of mine. So to be able to kind of immerse ourselves in that level of work and we used to talk all the time and go around for meals and coffees and get into the books yeah. and discuss how we were going to do, play the scenes in the Pullman do you remember mm. uh, you know um, uh, with the other books and whatever we had so I think anything where this kind of trio of of gorgeousness touched the hands of Middle Earth it was always an explosion of lots and lots of fun mm. Mm. and heart yeah we could say favourite episode which favourite number I feel like it's it's a common answer, but I'm very excited to see seven because we haven't seen all of the episodes yet. I, I think that I know that a lot of interesting things happen for a lot of different characters, so I'm going to go with seven. Three and seven. I'm going for two. I'm really curious to see eight because we weren't even allowed to read eight. I like three. Do you? I do like three, and I also really like oh, seven. I like seven. I was going to say seven. Yeah, I love seven. I love seven is a. I love two and seven. Okay, yeah. I mean, I think two, two's also great. That's. <laughs> I don't know. Great. I, I, I love three. I also love three six. Even yeah. Though, cause, cause six is yeah. Six is good. There's a lot that happens in six that I haven't seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. haven't seen we haven't anything. Seen. Yeah, but, yeah. But that I'm excited for that. Yeah, but. yeah. question. I mean, I think in terms of uh, Numenor, which is where we all come from, uh, this is the peak of civilization. It's never been better for men, by which I mean men and women, and, I, and by a race of men, we, that's where we, that's what we were originally, but now we're Numenorians, so we're sort of superhuman, because we've been given gifts by the elves, and we live in a what is an earthly paradise at this point. So yeah, as you say, by the time of uh, the Lord of the Rings books, it's like the apocalypse, but here it's all beauty, as you can see. <laughs> For me, I've discovered it through the series, but I have a dedicated shelf. You guys are welcome anytime to come to, to the library. Yeah. <laughs> so, but what's really lovely um, and what's been so fun for me is, you know, you get to do this immersive deep dive so you want to read more you want to discover and even as we're still filming and still you know telling this story there's still opportunity to kind of oh let me go back to the book mm. let me let me read this other thing so it's there's Tolkien has just pages and pages of notes and stories even separate of the Lord of the Rings so there's going to be always you could be reading for the rest of your life probably uh, yeah, I, so the books were family favourites, so I, I did read them when I was younger and then kind of, and then watched the films and then, and then here we are, but learnt so much more as well doing this obviously because it was, I found it really um, interesting to have the context of the lore, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I um, learned everything on this show, on this production, so I had like a real genuinely immersive experience into Tolkien's world while doing this project. But yeah, I didn't have Tolkien in my life before this. And now I do, which is pretty incredible. I hadn't seen it before I got this job. Okay. And then we went to New Zealand. There was um, a, ma a movie marathon in one of the <laughs> cinemas. So a couple of us went to go extended and see version. extended versions all in one go with like 45 minute break <laughs> in yeah. between. I think it was like 12 hours. It was 12 Something hours. Like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so I have seen them, yeah. Personally, I, I just pay attention to the love. Yeah. And I sort of set the rest aside. That's that's sort of my attitude. I'm, I'm, my focus is sort of on people who are interested in, you know, we're telling this story today. So I think to sort of be as inclusive as possible and have characters of all different backgrounds be well-rounded, uh, people who really appreciate that, that's that's where my energy goes. The rest is... The rest is just noise to me. Yeah, and there's there's been quite a bit of love, I think. Yeah. I've definitely found those pockets in line. I think more love than hate. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And in terms of, of Tolkien, you know, Tol Tolkien has just condensed some of the great world myths and mythologies about trying to describe essentially what it is to be human. Mm -hmm. And we're all human in the show. And, and if you if you want to take take Tolkien's images again and his, his lore and his mythology, then Iluvatar created the world. Uh, we're in the world, all of us, yeah. and you know. And I think, in, in our case, genuinely, just the best actors for the job got the parts here, right? Yeah. And the question is, how much you listen to it and how much you don't. It's almost kind of spooky how right everyone is for each part. <laughs> Ooh. They are ancestors to the hobbits, so not quite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they have um, sort of similar features in the feet and the ears, but their circumstances are very different. Circum I just said circumstances. Circumstances are very different. I'm turning into you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we've been together quite I've a lot. I've had an <laughs> um, yes. yeah. Contextually, they haven't found a home yet. The hobbits have the Shire, mm -hmm. and they have a permanent place of residence and home, but um, the Harfords are, they're, you know, they're, a nomadic community. They move with the seasons and they carry their homes on their backs with them everywhere that they go. Um, and they have a very specific set of rules as well in order to keep everyone safe. Um, so yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, they're survivors of a lot as well. And they're fighters too. Mm -hmm.